Shalom. I want to give all the praise and all the glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweshai Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. I also want to acknowledge all the Akiyam who are pushing this truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay. So I'm going to go in on a quick lesson um, through the Spirit. And uh, I'm going to be in uh, Psalm 119 and 25. I'm going to start. And it's going, it's a small prayer. Just going into uh, understanding the law of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So, verse 25, 119, 25 Psalms, it says, Daleth my soul cleaveth unto the dust, quicken thou me according to thy word. Okay, that's the a prayer we should say because, you know, the men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We're going to be quickened in the spirit by this truth, right? The uh, the the two thirds, you know, they're they're like um, the opposite when it comes to this truth. They have no, uh, you know, they're not quickened in their spirit. Instead, they're um, they're actually retarded. Which you go into, you go into that word retarded. It means um, back to slow, right, or back to late. Re means back. Tard means uh, late. So the elect is going to be the ones who the word quickens. The two thirds, you know, they are they're actually the opposite. They're for lack of better uh, words, they uh, they're actually retarded. All right, when it comes to the scripture, verse twenty six. I have declared my ways, and thou heardest me, teach me thy statutes. You see that? Still like you. Okay. So, I have declared my ways, and thou heardest me, teach me thy statutes. So that's how we should, we should pray for that. Pray that Yahweh Bashem Yahshai teaches us his laws, statutes, and commandments. All right? Going into a verse that brings it into remembrance is, uh, is it Psalm 147? Let's go. It's uh, 19, Psalm 147, 19. It says, He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. Okay? So he shows his word unto Jacob. He shows his word to us. He doesn't show it to Esau. He doesn't show it to Moab. He doesn't show it to Ishmael. You see, he don't show it to um, any anyone else but Jacob, the Israelites. So back in Psalm... 119, and I'm going to go to verse, let's see, 27. It says, Make me to understand the way of thy precepts, so shall I talk of thy wondrous works. You see that? So the elect, we know about the precept. We know that you got to, to understand the scriptures deeper and better, you have to, Read precept upon precept. Let me get a let me get a precept as I say that. It's uh, <clears throat> Psalm one nineteen, and then we're gonna go to verse all the way to one o four. He was the elect. You know, this is how we study the truth. We went through the precepts. And why? Because right here, Psalm 119, 104. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. So, Yahweh hates every false way. And through the precepts, his elect will gain a deeper understanding of his truth and of this knowledge, of this wisdom. It's through the precepts.
right? Let me give you an example. Watch. I'm going to go with Psalm. I'll give you an example on the chariots. Actually, you know what? I'll start in Acts. And these are precepts. I'm going to bring out two precepts and show you how the precept, just an example, how the precepts will you'll gain understanding. All right? So this is Acts 1 and verse 9. It says, it's talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. All right, so when like the, the modern Christian reads this verse, they go on and they, they teach it like, oh, they say Jesus, right? Because we say Yahweh Shai. We, we're the ones who have the correct name. But the modern Christian, they'll go say, Jesus goes up and a cloud receives him. So they'll be thinking he's like going into a fluffy white cloud, right? Because why? Because they don't understand the precepts. And if they're not Jake, they're, they're definitely not going to be given the understanding on any precept. And this precept right here specifically, it says a cloud received him out of their sight. So now let's go to the precept to give us to give us deeper understanding, right? We read earlier, through thy precepts I get understanding, all right? So now we go to, let's go get understanding on that cloud, all right, on uh, Psalm 104.3, is going to give us that understanding on that cloud from Acts 1 and 9. Then we go to Act, or Psalm 104 and 3, and it says, Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, and who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. All right, so now we, we read what the cloud is, talking about in Acts 1 and 9. It says, Who maketh... The clouds, his chariot. <clears throat> so remember the Christians, they think it's just a fluffy white cloud, but through thy precepts, the elect gains understanding. So it says, who make it the clouds, his chariot. So when we go back and read Acts 1 and 9, we can clearly see that a chariot received him out of their sight. What you call a UFO, all right? A chariot is what received Yahweh Shai. And we we know that because of the precept, because we get deeper understanding using the precepts, okay? Let's go back to Psalm 119, and we'll go to verse 26. No, I'm sorry, we're going to go to 28. My soul melted for heaviness. Strengthen thou me according unto thy word. Remember, I started out this lesson telling you that this is a prayer that the elect should do daily. Or, you know, you should just do this type of prayer. Praying that the, the, the Most High is going to give us the full understanding of this truth, the full understanding of His laws, statutes, and commandments. And, you know, something that we should, you know, Keep in our uh, back pocket, right? This type of thoughts, this type of prayer. Praying that we get deeper understanding, right? Praying that we grow in the Spirit. And even praying that the Spirit's not taken away from us, right? Because that's a fearful thing, all right? Let me see, what is that? Um, Psalm 51, 11. 11. Yep. Psalm 51, 11, cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. All right. Actually, let's start at 10. Create in me a clean heart or a clean mind. O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. See, so this is what the elect should be praying. You know, give us that new mind. Give us that new mindset. Give us the understanding of the precepts, which, you know, in turn is going to give us a new mindset and the right spirit, right? Like it says right there, renew a right spirit. All right. So now let's go to Psalm 119. And... Twenty-nine. 
It says, "Remove from me the way of lying, and grant me thy law graciously." Okay, so you got them Israelite camps out there that this is not definitely not a prayer that they're saying or doing or that they believe because they're lying to you. They're not. They're not warning you about things like the karagma, the MOTB. The RFID C hip, you know, they're not, they're not, they're leading, they're leading the flock astray. They're not teaching you the truth. They're lying to you. And really, there's a saying to to be able to lie, you got to know the truth. So, guys like Bishop Nathaniel, Bishop Nathaniel is a, you know, he knows the truth. So he's actually lying to you because why? Because he knows the truth. You got to know the truth to be able to lie, or you got to know. You got to know what's really the truth in order for you to be able to devise a lie, all right? And that's exactly what a lot of these camps are doing. They're not giving you, they're not giving the full truth. That's why starting out with our elders, we say here at GMS, we have 100% truth, all right? Because you need 100% truth. Like our elders always say, you can't have, you can't even have 99% truth because at 1%, immediately, if you're 1% off in your truth, you're going to be a false prophet. You know, no, no ways around that. Our elders have told us, you know, that's why we got to be so careful and mindful of what we teach because this is how serious and austere it is when we, when we teach this truth. You know, you can't. You can't lead the flock astray. You know, you go and do your videos and you're you're breaking shit. Or I'm sorry, Salakia, slip of the tongue. You're breaking the scripture down wrong. You're breaking things down wrong. You see? And you get 1% off and now all of a sudden you're a false prophet. So let's read it again. Remove from me the way of lying and grant me thy law graciously. All right. Verse 30, I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I laid before me. See, and this is the characteristic of the elect. The elect chooses the way of truth. That's why we're able to uh, praise the name of Yahweh Bashem the names. Why? Because we chose the way of the truth. These people who are calling on all these different names, they didn't choose the truth. Whether Let's say they got the whole breakdown on everything right except the names you know that's which is really the foundation right the names are the foundation of the truth you see so you know you have to uh, have 100% truth and um, I'm actually going to go the, you know like I said the elect we choose the way of truth and like I said one example are the names, right? Because not everybody is is uh, calling on the true names. Let's get this precept to get understanding. Ecclesiasticus, what is it? 11, 17? No, 10, 17. No, nope, let me see. Bear with me, I'm going to look up this precept. Okay. I said 10, 17, but it's 17, 10. All right, it says, And the elect shall praise his holy name. All right, so Psalm 119, I have chosen the way of truth, thy judgments have I laid before me. So that's why only the elect praises his name, because the others who are not calling on those true names... 
they haven't chosen the way of truth because obviously if they're calling them false names, like I said earlier, even that 1% you go off and really, like I said, the names are the foundation. So you go off on that, you might as well go off on 100%. There's that one little percentage that you slip up on and that, that makes you a false prophet. Verse 31. I have stuck... Unto thy testimonies, O Yahweh, put me not to shame. See, this is our hope. This is our hope that we we are not put to shame. Because why? Because we have our faith and our we stuck unto the testimonies of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay? And uh, I'm gonna finish this lesson off on verse 32. It says, I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart. You see that? So once we get quickened, once we get in the spirit, once we grow in the spirit, once we uh, run in the way of the commandments, then all of a sudden, Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is going to enlarge our heart, which is our mind, giving it, meaning giving us this understanding, right? That's why the elect, it says that we're the only ones that can learn the song, right? Let's get that. Because why? Because our mind is enlarged compared to the two-thirds or compared to the, the, the ones who reject this knowledge. Okay? Let's get that real quick. 14. Is it 4 or 3? Let's try 3. Okay, 3. And they sung as it were a new song. Before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. So, again, the elect, we have an enlarged mind when it comes to this truth. And that's why it tells you that only the elect can learn that song. Only the prophets actually. It starts out with the prophets. The hundred and forty-four thousand. This is the ones who learned the song. Lord's willing, Lord willing, I'm in that number. Okay? Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and close out on that. I want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, all the love unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, when acknowledged by the Akim who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom to the elect. Shalom, brothers. Keep enduring.